and welcome to The Plotty Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Casey Marie Hurt, and today we're gonna to be talking about release work. Now that the weather is truly warm and the days are much longer, so many of us and our clients are going out for for walks, for hikes, for longer runs. And so I wanted to just do a little bit of release work to really get people to remember that these legs do so much uh, for us, especially in the summer season, and that we need to be really good stewards of our connective tissue and our lower legs so that when we put in, put on maybe our, our more heavy duty hiking shoes or boots that we can still have a large range of motion in through the ankle joint. Now, we're gonna do a little bit of release of the tissue between the tibia and the fibula. So in a healthy working lower leg, every time we point and flex the foot, this fibula here should be moving up and down. But because of IT band tension and hip tension, the fibula sometimes can get either stuck down or stuck up into the IT band, thus throwing off the mechanics of the ankle and foot and ultimately the hip. So this is just your few minute tune up to get this tissue to open up so that every step you take on the trail, you're gonna be feeling like you're using that beautiful spring power that our ligamentous tissue is really built to do for us. So this is one's really simple. You're gonna just have a tennis ball and a pillow. You're gonna lay down and what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna place the ball right on the side of the leg. Now this can be very tender for people and people with tight hips, oh my goodness, this is really, really desperately needed. I take my other leg and I place it on top for weight and then I start to roll all the way up and down this tissue. I usually have people do this a few times and they will find their hot spots. When they find a spot of intensity, what I have them is keep that pressure from their top leg on the ball and they can start to point and flex the foot here. And they can really start to feel that dynamic movement that is supposed to happen on the outside of the lower leg. A lot of people feel this in their ankle or up into their hip. And so you can find lots of really good unctuous spots to really highlight to get this movement. And they'll be able to feel rather quickly areas that feel like it's no big deal or areas I feel like, oh my gosh, this I could spend all day on this, but don't let them. Remember, only about 90 seconds, a hot spot that we wanna choose. So again, this type of release work is essential to the movement dynamic to the two bones of the lower leg. We have to remember that those bones not only move this way on one another, but also there's a little rotation. We like to think of it almost like saloon doors. So we have to clear all of this tension on the side of um, the lower leg so that that dynamic is instated and so that the ankle, hip, and feet stay absolutely healthy. That's all for today. If you have any questions or observations that you'd like to see answered on an upcoming episode, you can comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or a forum. Thanks so much for watching and never stop learning.